Hi everyone, welcome to my video on the quadratic equation and how to use it in your GCSE maths exam. Now, the quadratic equation is a formula that's given to you on your exam paper and it will automatically solve for you any quadratic equation that you can think of. And by quadratic equation, we mean something that looks like this. It's got something with x squared, something with x, and a number on its own. Okay, so let's have a look how we can use the formula to solve this particular one that says 2x squared plus 7x plus 4 equals 0. Now the equals 0 is very important. We have to have it there before we can use the formula. If you look at the front of your exam paper, you should see the formula that looks like that. It says that x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And it's when our equation looks like this that we will solve it. Now can you see that I've corresponded the numbers to the letters by using colours? So all you need to do is you need to put the numbers in the right place. And if we compare to this equation, we can see that the 2 represents the A, the 7 represents the B, and the 4 represents the C. So for this first example, what I'm going to do is use a ready-made formula where all we have to do is put in our numbers. So, the first bit of the equation says minus b. So, in our case, it's minus 7. Plus or minus the square root of b, again, squared, minus 4ac. Now, when it says 4ac, it means multiply. So, 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 4. And on the bottom of the equation, we've got 2a, which means 2 times a. Now the quadratic equation will probably be on your calculator paper which means that at this point you can use your calculator. But what we need to do first is talk about what this new sign means, so plus or minus. Now what the examiner has actually done when he's written this paper is use plus or minus as one sign instead of writing out the equation twice. To do it the long way he would have had to write the equation first with a plus and then with a minus. So this thing here just saves time. Okay. So when we work this out, we have to actually do it the long way and do the equation twice. So the first time we do it, in your calculator, you're going to write minus 7 plus because we're doing the plus version, the square root of, and make sure your square root sign goes all the way across, 7 squared, which is 49, take away 4 times 2 times 4, which is 32, but your calculator will do that for you too, times by 2a. Now if you look at my equation, we should have put a as 2, shouldn't we? So let's just change that back and we have 4. So if you type that into your equation, into your calculator, I'll do it now as well, minus 7 plus the square root of 49, take away 32, divided by 4, you should get minus 0 0.719 to three decimal places. Okay, you might need to press the SD button on your calculator to get the decimal. The negative version, we're going to do exactly the same, but this time we're doing a take away. So minus 7, take away the square root of 49, take away 32, which happens to be 17 all over 4. So our other answer, if you put that into your calculator, or if you had the answer from before, 
we're working out from before, you can go back on your calculator screen and change your plus to a minus. Minus 2.78. Okay? And both our answers there are to three significant figures. So let's try two more of these examples. The next one, we've got a formula set out ready. All we need to do is write it out again, but this time put our numbers in instead of the letters. Now, I've given you a trick one here because we have for our B value a negative in front. So A is fine, that's 3. B, you have to remember to include the negative as well. And the C is minus 5. So when we work this out, we get minus of minus 2. So minus of minus 2. If you remember, I talked to you about negatives and negatives going together when we were multiplying. If you looked last time at the banana method video. Now, two negatives next to each other, you can also put together and make a plus. Okay? So, that's going to be two. Plus or minus the square root of minus two squared. Do not put minus and then two squared in your calculator because that will give you the wrong answer. Minus four times by three times by minus 5. And can you see I've got brackets to make sure that the minus is with the 5. All divided by 2 times by a, which is 3. Now remember, because of the plus or minus, we're going to get two different answers. Okay? One where we do the plus version, one where we do the minus. So it's 2 plus on this one. The square root of minus 2 times minus 2, 4. Minus 4 times 3 times minus 5. Now, I'll let you just put all that into your calculator yourself. But I know from thinking ahead, 2 minuses make a plus. Okay. Do not worry about what I've just said if you didn't understand. Because your calculator is going to do all the work for you. So... Plug that into your calculator. 2 plus the square root 4 plus 4 times 3 times 5, all divided by 6. And we get 5 over 3, which is 1.6 reoccurring. Okay? So 1.667 to 3 decimal places. Now we can do the negative version. So we take away x equals 2, take away 4 plus 60, all over 6. So if we put this into our calculator, we are going to get, I'm just doing the trick of changing the plus to minus sign on my calculator screen to save me typing it in again. And you get minus 1. Okay. So that is our two answers for x. That x equals 1.667 or x equals minus 1. I'll show you one final question. And then hopefully you'll understand what we're doing when we use the quadratic formula. So this one I've made a bit trickier. Because you might be thinking, where's a? Now, if it's x squared on its own, you've got one lot of x squared. So that means your a is 1, your b is 5, and your c is minus 3, not forgetting the minus. Okay? So we're going to put this into our formula. So we're going to get x equals minus b, so minus 5, plus or minus square root of minus of 5 squared, sorry, minus 4 times 1 times minus 3, all divided by 2 times 1, which is just 2. Now remember, we're going to get a plus answer 
we need to do a plus answer and a minus answer. So the plus answer, okay, we're going to get x equals minus 5 plus the square root of 25 plus 12, all divided by 2. Don't worry about the bits that I did in my head. You can do it all in your calculator at this stage, as long as you're very careful with the brackets. So for this answer, we are going to get minus 5 plus the square root of 37 divided by 2. And it gives us 0 0.541. Now the minus answer, we are going to get minus 5 minus the square root of, and if you work out underneath the square root sign, it's 37 divided by 2. So x equals, if we put this on our calculator, minus 5.54. And if you notice, I've given all these answers to three significant figures. I hope this has helped you. It is a difficult topic because this is A star, but I think that you should definitely have a go at this one in your exam paper and not just leave it blank. Good luck with your revision. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.